Thursday. It is July 27 today. And I'm on the floor in the living room. Why? Because your girl is being constantly annoyed by repair people who was supposed to have it done yesterday. So yesterday, I needed someone to come and check out our AC. There's just been some issues. This is like an ongoing thing. And then they tell me they're going to come back in two days. Okay, great. 7.30 this morning, I get like doorbell and I th I'm thinking I'm hearing it. Don't know if I'm dreaming. And I hear like loud banging on the door and here is somebody else who did less work than the guy yesterday. Continue. He's like, okay, I checked it out. Everything seems fine. And we're going to leave some notes. I'm going to close the case. And I'm just like, it, the, talking to this guy was literally like talking to a brick wall like trying to explain to him what the past things were as if why don't you guys read like past issues like I don't or reoccurring issues like I don't really understand and he literally was mansplaining to me and it was just very very agitating so he claimed he fixed the problem. He didn't. So I text my husband and I was like, hey, just a heads up. Look at this. Took some pictures, sent it to him, reopened another um, ticket and somebody else just came. This third person seemed more knowledgeable and more respectful and willing to listen than this man that came this morning. And guys... Knowing my personality very well, I'm very self-aware. Well, for the most part, I'm self-aware. I, I And at the same time, a little bit petty, you know? I treat you the way you treat me. So if you want to mansplain things to me, guess what? I am going to be a biatch back, okay? I am so extremely tired. I went to sleep late last night because um, I was watching um, some... Korean shows and like I literally just had like maybe four hours of sleep which is a lot for some people but it was just like a rude awakening I would like to get a little bit more notified of somebody coming to my home um, especially because I have a dog you know so and Miss Millie she is very alert you know so if she wasn't the one who was barking and freaking out from someone knocking on the door and ringing the doorbell this morning I probably would never have heard it but it's just so so annoying so that's my morning so I definitely need to drink a tea like I'm I'm not trying to drink a uh, tea every day uh, matcha tea every day because I don't want my body to get so used to the caffeine that it's not effective anymore so I'm like on and off it like maybe every other day or every two days or when I really feel tired because once I drink this I'm wired and I don't foresee myself falling asleep anytime soon so I might as well just drink some now and I didn't even know I had a black cafe kitsune cup like reusable cup so I am so excited I saw it in the cupboard and I was like wow this is my moment to shine for all of my cups <laughs> but I also have to repair two nails um, that I broke off in the last couple days um, everything else is doing okay though I haven't even eaten today so I'm slightly hungry but not so much uh, I really don't have anything planned today because I am quite lazy it is hot out also like is it just me or when I step or you when you step foot outside of the house you instantly spend like minimum a hundred dollars so like yes of course there's things I would love to do I'd love to go shopping but just this weather is no bueno I know it doesn't look like I'm selling the weather to you because I'm wearing a hoodie it's because my AC is it is working so thank goodness for that however um, I think um, be, not I think I know because of my anemia I tend to get um, cold throughout the day so I am usually in sweats that's why you kind of see me in sweaters all the time but 
Y'all, I'm just gonna enjoy this much. Much. And uh, thank you very much. <laughs> it's me again. Um, updating again. Why? It's probably only been 10 minutes. But some other motherfucker from this whole AC thing just came back. And now you hear that noise? It's because they need to run something else. And it's just kind of like... What? This is the same fucking person who came at 7.30 this fucking morning and really didn't do shit. And then so I had told him that there what other issues there were and that's a reoccurring issue. He didn't even check it the first time, okay? So the, this third guy um, who came today, he cleaned it up and everything and the leak is still happening because that's one of the issues that's happening with it. So then 10 minutes later, the guy who came this morning is back and he's apologizing because his fucking incompetent ass didn't fucking check it and then he almost tried to make it as if I did not tell him about the problem that's reoccurring again I, I think I mentioned that three times now yo I'm like that one person who's like tell you once tell you twice third time that's it I hate to repeat myself, okay, um, sometimes I do, I apologize, but I don't like to do it all in one time. So he apologized because he was like, oh, I didn't know, I'm like, no, uh, yes, you, if you listened to what I was fucking telling you earlier, then yes, you would have known and to have checked it. But did you? No. Why? Because you were so so confused to the guy of another person coming yesterday it's as if you didn't even know you guys take notes and I know you take notes because for some reason you guys can tell it to me sorry I'm very bothered by me not having a, a nail here so that's why I'm like this but oh my god like I didn't even finish my matcha yet before you even fucking came the second time and the guy's like, well, yeah, it must be a problem because this is like your fourth visit with since yesterday. I'm like, oh shit, Sherlock. Hello. We wouldn't be reporting. He's like, and I was like, what are you? He's, what are you even doing here? Someone just came. He's like, really? Bitch, what? I'm like, yeah. He's like, well, they, I think your husband might have made another. Uh, uh, he might have called it again. I was like, yes, he did, because you closed the ticket this morning. And it's still a problem. Why'd you even close it if it's still a freaking problem? Oh my god. I, I no longer have, have shouldn't be surprised by some people's work competencies because it's... Bruh. Bruh. This much of better calm me down because I'm getting quite angry. <laughs> Hello, it's me, Arishel. <laughs> it is Saturday, um, July 29th, and I just woke up not too long ago, and it is pretty just hit the afternoon. I went to sleep really early, but then I woke up in the middle of the night, and then I couldn't go to sleep for a long time. All I kept thinking about was rearranging this room again. <sighs> And I'm thinking I might put it back to the way that it was just because I'm annoying like that. Sorry, I had to move forward. Anyways, um, I have a little over 15 minutes to get ready because I overslept. Um, gosh, my eyelashes are looking terrible. I have a lunch date with um, some friends today. Um, I've seen them pretty recently, but... Um, I haven't spent that much time with them because we're all just busy because you know real life and oh my eyelashes are my extensions are slowly leaving me so they're looking a little bit sparse but still pretty cute you know more natural beauty but thank gosh for them because I'm not planning to do a whole thing of makeup 
Summer Fridays on my face. Um, last night, my husband and I went on a fried chicken date. <laughs> Um, we, where we just um, bought some chicken and um, we brought it home. We could have ate there, but by the time when we got there, um, they were going to close pretty soon. So we just decided to take it home. This was his first time at Barbecue Chicken. Um, that's that Korean place that's like franchise. It opened here in Hawaii maybe about a year or so ago. So um, I've tried it before. I just thought it was okay. I heard really great things about it. So that's why I tried it before. Um, and I went the boneless route. I thought it was okay. I think I had, they had like a honey garlic um, one at that time. So I thought that was okay. Um, so I was like, okay, this time I'll try one that's considered best. So I did, I tried their, just a regular golden fries. Charlotte Tilbury been loving this airbrush flawless setting spray so I put it before um I don't really put on that much makeup but you know and then I will do after as well so you guys are just gonna get ready with me really fast um I'm using my Merit Beauty concealer stick well technically this is supposed to be a foundation stick but because my the color that i picked was way too light i just now use it as a concealer uh, your girl's not that light skinned enough to wear this not even light skin i'm tan i'm just gonna dab some dabbies all over my face and then i'm also gonna go in with my huda beauty this is a toasted coconut I love it when things are named after food. Um, fun fact, um, because now my diet has changed and when I go grocery shopping or anywhere that has snacks, I will go to the aisles and then I'll go up to something and I'll, and I'll that I really, really want but can't have. And I'll just tell myself, no, I'll just tell it, I'm so sorry, I love you, but I can't have you. And my husband and I went to H Mart like, uh, last week and I promise you I literally went up to all of my favorite Taiwanese snacks and said that because there were some childhood snacks at that time that I really wanted but I looked at how much sugar there was in it and I was like no my husband always being so encouraging is like oh why don't you just get it and then you just slowly eat it I would there's these pineapple cookies. I would just sit there and eat the whole thing in one day. I know it's not lots. It's like maybe like seven pieces or so. But every piece is like seven grams of sugar or something. So it's just kind of like, no. I mean, yes, I could space it out. I'm, I've been getting really good at that. But it just, it just made me sad, truthfully. So yeah, if you ever see me in an aisle talking to some snacks... Just know I'm telling it that I love them. <laughs> oh, and I'm using this Merit Beauty brush. Um, I actually really, really love this brush. It's a great like stippling styled brush. So it really gives you the idea of like a flawless look. And oh my God, of course my battery is dying. Of course. We're gonna film to the battery to goes, okay? Sorry, sorry about that. And then I am going to just hit it with some Laura Mercier Powder with the Chanel brush. Uh, and I still have to go to my friends and pick them up. So I guess I, I could be a, a little bit late because it's not like we have reservations or anything. But it's Saturday so I assume um, where we're eating is going to be busy. Chanel boy Chanel boy brow. I hope they never stop making this because I love it. And if they do, I don't know what I'd do. Because I love this tone. Um, because my hair is black, um, I like this gray color. It says black, but it's more gray. And your girl needs to draw on some fake furries in the front because she don't got a lot of eyebrow. Dior show blackout. 
So I use these, you probably hear me say this a billion times if you watch any of my vlogs. But I need these to give the illusion that I have thicker brows than I originally do. Um, yeah, she needs it. She needs it, she needs it, she needs those fake eyebrows to make it look like they're not so thin. I'm pretty much done. I'm just going to put some blush and then I got to get dressed. I was also able to repair my nails, so they're all good again. And I'll be getting some new colors uh, for my nail polishes soon, so I can do another set of something. I've been really missing my cloud nails, and I think this time around it's going to look more improved. Um, I love it, so I am going to definitely um, try it again. So this is a old brush. This is from Pony Effect. I don't know if you know who she is. She's a Korean um, a makeup artist. And then I have this Makeup Forever. I've never tried it before. But I'm going to try this blush because this blush is calling me. It's been calling me now. And I'm going to hit it with some of this sparkle. I don't know. Never tried it before, so let's see. Wow, that is a pigment. If you ask me... I know that something Mufi knows definitely how to do is this pigment. Woo. I'm also going to tone it down a little bit because it's a little too pink for me. Hit that nose area real quick. You can't tell on camera, um, but it is looking really pink. So I'm going to just... Oops, my camera died, but I just toned down the blush a little bit, hit my nose. And then I'm going to go in with this Dior palette here. And I'm just going to... Oh, not that one, sorry. I'm going to go with this Dior palette. And I'm just going to hit some highlight sections. So just like on the tip of my nose. Lightly with the Marc Jacobs. So we're going to do a light contour just on the hits of my... Um, some parts of my nose and the inner corner of my eye. So it gives me a little bit of... Uh, contour depth always with the Dior lip glow like always Hermes rose incense and that's it anyways I'm gonna finish getting ready guys I'm just gonna slick my hair back and then um, I'll be on my way and I'll see you at Ichiriki <laughs> Up on my name and I was filthy Treat me like I'm not sorry and I'm guilty Front of you, we should be getting real chilly And I'm praying on this honey, don't kill me Yeah, me wrong, so I'm counting up the cash by my lonely little baby Living for hours, what I'm pussy just to pay me You a low life, getting hot on a daily Seven wild turkey, shorty thick like some gravy You know where they finna go and hit that lighter Pussy just acting up, thinking that he be on Broadway Hi guys, so I'm back home from uh, lunch with my friends. Oh. Oh. We went to this restaurant, it's a shabu shabu place called Ichiriki. And um, we also went to have some soft serve at Thrills since they're right next door to each other. But I, I did have a lot of fun catching up with friends. We don't get to see each other that often because real life. So I just wanted to show you guys some kawaii things that I picked up. Um, so this one here is a new jeans album. So there's two new jeans I don't know if you ever buy um, Korean albums before, but I mean, I don't even know why I buy these because I have no CD player and I have Spotify, but it's just for the cuteness. So they have one with the Powerpuff Girls. So, so, so cute. Um, so I got this. Yes, it's the same as this, but this comes with a cute little baggie. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So here it says 
new jeans. The last time I bought an album was Blackpink's Black album. Was it Black? Wow, it's been a while, so I don't know. So it comes in this. How stinking cute is this? Like, I love me something that you can use, um, you know, outside. So here, let me show you. So the another thing about these albums is that um, they come in different variants. They come in different, you know, like um, they come with different character, not characters, artists, cards. Um, I'm not for that. I just like to have it. But this one here was a different version of their album. So I got this. So for example, if you were to get like this album, the inserts like these might be different. So a lot of people actually buy several versions of them because they want, you know, their favorite, their bias. And this is what the CD is like. I would show you the CD, but I left it in one of the cars. So it's just a black pink, pink album in here. And so you can even put like, look, like the little keychains or whatever on it. And then it comes with postcards, which is just of scenery. And then this is their like, this is the cards that come with it. Uh, like I said, I don't really buy too much of these things. So, and then you have like all kinds of different like booklets. So this one here comes with stickers. So this is the little, I got like the little group keychain thing that you can put on the little baggie here. Like so. I don't know if it's supposed to come with like a little plastic thing to put around it, but that's fine. I'm probably not going to use it anyway. And then these are the stickers that come with it as well. So the same thing is going to be in that Powerpuff Girl styled one. However, um, I just like it for cuteness. It's going to stay here in this office. But I'm definitely going to use this. I just think this is super cute. And this is like their little mascot, like the bunny. Just like how on the back of the album there's a little bunny. So cute! And then um, the last thing, I actually got this a, a last week, um, but I forgot to show it to you guys. So this is a Kudo Me, like a little, what do you call this? Vanity case thing. I haven't opened it really yet because I want to show it to you guys. I totally forgot. Um, don't know quite yet what I'm going to put in this. Sorry, let me just open it so I can show it to you because one of these shelves is falling off. So yeah, it just looks like this. A little, a little cabinet. You just can put like little things in it. I'm not too sure what I'm going to quite do with this yet or where this is going. But it's more than likely going to be in the office here because this is where I have all my really random things. But those are my kawaii things that I wanted to cute things that I want to share with you guys. Today was extremely fun with friends. It's great to see and know that your friends are doing okay. If you this take this as your reminder to check on your friends, hang out with them, spend time with them because you know life is short. You never know, right? So take this as your little reminder. And I'm gonna edit well, I'm going to play a little bit of Animal Crossing and then I'm going to edit a little bit and then edit some videos because your girl posted her video super late. Also, I don't know if I already apologized from me getting ready. Uh, it got cut off because my battery died. So, see you guys later. Oh, I look crazy. I just woke up from a nap. Uh, it's about... Mm, close to 5 p.m. It is July, Monday 31st. Um, I was up early today because I had my doctor's appointment um, and then I have another one tomorrow with a different doctor. So the news that I got from this doctor is actually better than I had anticipated. Um, 
again more on that on a sit down video so I am pretty happy with where I am right now in my current situation um, however there's still this is like a never ending process so I am just hoping that in a few months I will be back to normal well I don't want to say normal I want to say better than I was because normal me isn't anywhere mentally as I am now so that's a good thing however I am really not gonna do too much today I just wanted to give you guys a quick heads up I honestly I just went to my doctor's appointment and then um, I got some uh, lunch and came home and knocked out. Um, <laughs> was going to walk Millie in a little bit. However, she has a really huge chunk of one of her paws like missing. I don't know if it's because when she likes to go walking, she likes to kick grass or she accidentally injured herself or something so we're gonna give her a couple days for her to get a little bit better i do have a ups package to pick up this is the first time i've ever ordered something from temu i get ads all the time but i never ordered anything from there so i am gonna do that and then i another nail i have to repair today but non you know things that are that interesting i did go grocery shopping yesterday um again nothing to write home about actually tomorrow is my husband's birthday did i have anything planned no uh so we're gonna have to push that back for a little bit because tomorrow is another doctor's appointment and um really gotta focus on that but i'm gonna do some editing and then i will update you guys later Good morning guys. Happy August 1st. Today is Tuesday and it is about 9.50 in the morning. Um, I'm having my morning matcha latte. Um, I am dressed but like I really don't have anything on because I am going to a doctor's appointment today which um, is going to be a few hours because of some of the things that I need to do there today. So that's why I'm drinking the matcha because I want to make sure that I am aware. I just got out of the shower recently and i just going to do some, I put some sunscreen on. Of course, I'm going to wear something over. I just fed Miss Millie. And then I'll be on my way. Gosh, um, allergies have just been driving me absolutely crazy all day yesterday and the day before like I've been just sneezing like crazy um and then I've been waking up and I just feel so congested like for example if I was sleeping and I wake up I feel all the congestion here and it's the sore throat is coming from the pulse nasal drip and oh my gosh it's just a lot so that is my neighbor's car very obnoxious um so i apologize for that but i am feeling absolutely like it's coming back the congestion is coming back so hopefully i'll be okay luckily the doctor that i go to i know um masks are not really a thing anymore but it's um it's not required but they highly suggest you wear it and i'm gonna follow that of course so um am i gonna do brows today probably not my lazy absolutely But gonna go do that and then um and then i will see you guys a little bit later i don't think i have anything else going on oh it's important today because it's actually my husband's birthday today and because of everything going on right now i did not have the time to buy him something however i did buy something interesting that i'll share with you guys a little bit later when i come back because i have to go pretty soon and um i just thought that it was a clever way to you know how it's like a it's like an ongoing thing where like couples they don't know where to eat 
so I bought something that I thought would be fun to to do whenever we have those moments where we don't know what we would like to eat, right? I'm just wearing um, some silk trousers, just a white a white tank that I got from Maritzia and this All Saints jacket that I've been absolutely loving and then I'm just gonna put on a mask I'm wearing my Jody today I am so loving this bag it's just I'm when I look in my collection I see a lot of these monogram things now it's just kind of like my mood has shifted a great deal and I I've always loved luxury for myself and I think a little bit of me maybe a whole lot of me in the past loved it for everybody like oh I think it'd be great on the internet now I just don't care mm. and now I'm heavily having thoughts about selling everything again <laughs> I do have those thoughts once in a great while but it is getting close to 10 o'clock I need to leave take some medicine leave <sighs> and i want to make sure that i'm there on time so i will catch you guys later